Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing a TV show or a TV series or a show or series review. And this is for season three of The Alas A Kingdom. Um, I, um, I'm just trying to get my bearings, guys. Um, I finished this yesterday and I will explain why. And anyway, um, I hope you enjoy my the rest of my video you can hit the like subscribe and of course the bell um all my social media accounts in the description section so if you want to connect if you don't want to do the comment section here and if you want to do like a private connect that's fine too um but i would encourage you know commentary here i do check it all the time so um i finished the last i i, I okay i'm not even gonna say I, I i finished this yesterday um this has been a very challenging season for me to watch because, you know, with life going on, um, obviously. But secondly, this has been a very, um, there's been a lot of like heart wrenching situations for this. A lot of tears shed by me, a lot of heartache, a lot of just, um, heavy heart. I just, oh God. Everybody in the show is incredible and just, oh my gosh. Um, so just yesterday I watched a few episodes and it just, I was incredibly distraught and sad and borderline depressed. It just, um, it was difficult. And also I'm going to admit I was crying, like sobbing, sobbing, crying and like, <laughs> like that kind of cry, you know? <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed, but also not really because um, when when like something really pushes me to have that kind of emotional breakdown, that's a great thing to watch because if you if a show is supposed to be dramatic or a movie is supposed to be dramatic and you don't get misty eyed or shed a tear, like I feel like they needed to do something more. So this really delivered delivered um there's just some heartache really quickly on in the show i'll try not to do as many spoilers as i can um i feel like season three i just fall deeper more in love with dutra because it's hard not to it's hard not to fall in love with him it's hard not to want him to be your buddy your best friend um and you just want to take care of him because this guy goes through the ringer all the time. He needs a vacation from his life, you know? He, like, he just needs a break. And nobody's given him a break. He'll have a break, and then there's going to be a hailstorm of <sighs> depressing situations that he's my hero, man. Just, I feel like... I feel like when you have like a tumultuous day or days or weeks or a situation, I feel like watching this show kind of pushes you to be like, you know what? Uchid survived. Uchid still saw the glass half full. Uchid still managed to get up in the day and do what he needs to do. He's gone through so many things and have lost so many people and so many things and whatever. And you know what? He still gets up. He's still, he's still really strong and he's mentally strong is what I mean. Um, he still, he still gets up in the day. Like, I feel like if there's a ton of people that if there's a ton of people that have had tragedies in their life and sometimes you have like a hard time getting out of bed, take a page from Udred because Udred has gone through so much. Um, there, I mean, I think I mentioned it in my, in my previous um, review that I just want to hug Udred, you know, and I just want to like let him know that someone is here. <laughs> to hug him and hold his hand and and be like it's okay you know what I mean <laughs> um I do know because I love the show and I love the story of it 
I do know that this is historical fiction. So majority of the stuff, you know, the, the things that put into play actually did happen. Um, and Uhtred, the character itself, was supposedly, from what I've known, is, is a fictional part of it. Um, and this is a base of, uh, this, this show is based on a series of books, which is a lot of books. I have not read the books, so I am terrified if I do read the books because sometimes, like, the books, the, this show sometimes can be extremely changed versus the, the show. And I kind of don't want to do that because I really, really love the show. Um, I would just, I was talking to a buddy of mine yesterday about the show because, like I said, I was very emotional and such a, it, it, I was incredibly distraught yesterday. I was like sobbing for, oh my God, about a half hour. I kept tearing up. I just kept crying. It was just, it was just back to back of disaster. And I feel like I want to scream at the writers and everybody in the show. Like, I want to scream and be like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> but it's, it's also very satisfying that they delivered brilliantly and they made this amazing show. If I was able to record myself during and after, I think anybody out there would like feel how depressed I was. I was walking around doing stuff, doing everyday stuff, um, putting stuff away, whatever I was doing. And I don't even know. It was like a blur. It was like automatic. And I just felt like I needed to keep going and going and going because I was like, initially, like when I finished the final episode, I was just distraught and shocked like shell shocked and just sat there for a little bit and of course I couldn't stop crying like a petulant freaking toddler I just sobbed I ugh. the way I sobbed was just like it was like someone died I mean someone died you know what I mean like a family member died it, I sobbed so hard um I'm gonna read something from my buddy Chris uh he's because I was sharing <laughs> my emotional turmoil <laughs> he says definitely emotional ro roller coaster with that show the last kingdom unexpected twists and turns like you're on space Mountain and disney world and he's like i could you know i could quote him on that one but um yeah i shared with him i'm like man i was just so distraught i'm like sobbing like a child like just it was just and of course It just, it just feels like a lot of the characters that I really, really love just, I'm not even going to say it because it, it's too painful. Like I feel my chest feels like it's good. <laughs> my chest feels so sad now. It just, it just feels sad again. So thank you. The Last Kingdom. Um, oh, I give it a two thumbs up. <laughs> if you were to cry a lot. I would suggest watch the show in this season, season three, because it really will uh, make you cry. I would suggest go to season one first, two and three, because then you get to fall in love with the characters and all of that. Um, it's definitely not like a comedy show, but one of my favorite characters is Finnan. He just, man, he brings out something bright. He's just funny in, in certain situations that is uncomfortable. And um, I'm, a lot, I'm a lot like that in a sense, you know, like when I know everybody's uncomfortable, sometimes I say, I, you know, I say certain things that will kind of like, you know, not make you feel like you want to kill yourself and essentially. So I don't know. I love Finnan. He's definitely a great character. Um, Who's the other guy? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm still really distraught. And um, who's that other character? I'm going to look. Who's that other character? Starts with an S. Starts with an S. Um, Citric. He's great too. I just... I just... I have like a heavy heart. <laughs> um... I, it's kind of like, 
I, I really kind of don't want to watch season four yet because I kind of feel like I have to wait for, for a really long time for season five. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. For right now, I don't know if I can handle the emotional toll. It's going to um, probably hit me more. Ugh. I'll, maybe I'll go back to season one and maybe redo a review on that one because I'm just really, really freaking pathetically sad. I'm freaking pathetically sad and I blame it on the show. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just, man. If you want to like if you want to like fall in love with a very very amazing character like someone who gets kicked around someone who gets kicked when they're down or were even worse passed out and still kicked ugh, this show is definitely gonna be that like Uchid is just oh my god I feel like my head is starting to hurt because I'm getting super super emotionally sad um so anyway this is TVMA and please follow that it is an hour but it doesn't really feel like an hour it is so delicious for me um i feel like a lot of times when it does reach the end i secretly am screaming in my head because i'm like no i want more and the, this is how i've been feeling for season three when one episode ends and a new episode comes in it's bittersweet because I know I'm gonna end this season and that's why it was kind of a challenge for me to watch because I really really love the show but I know like the more I watch it the more it's going to finish and I kind of didn't want that to happen and of course I got too excited and of course I couldn't help myself and I started watching it again and um certain characters are not in the show anymore and Oh my god, I don't want to cry. It's ridiculous. It's a show and I'm crying all the time about it. Oh my god, if if anybody like saw me yesterday, oh my god, it was just so pathetic. I was just sobbing, like sobbing so hard and I feel like I'm going to cry again. Um, I'm going to like just wrap this up. So I give it a two thumbs up. Um, it's, a, it's an incredible show. I find it incredibly delicious, incredibly exciting. Um... It really does um, hit you in places that I didn't really expect, you know, just just to be clear when this, I guess, came out or like this was also always suggested in groups and in my in my profile, I always kind of just dismissed it. It just it didn't really grasp uh, grab me right away. But now it's like I wish this goes on to like season 10 because, oh, my God, I'm very masochistic. And it, especially with this type of situation, and I know, like, I'm already getting emotional, but I can't help it. Like, I, I always, I always want to keep watching it and knowing more and more and more over and over again. So I hope they keep always uh, putting out new series, a new shows. I mean, new season. Um, so to sum it up, it's a very delicious show for me. It's, it's. It's hard to describe it just every time I watch an episode it's bittersweet it's a double-edged sword I feel like it is so amazing and then it ends and I'm like oh my gosh one less episode and it's going to be close to the end and that's how it feels like every single freaking time so I don't know anyway if there's other shows that you guys recommend because this show is just one of my favorites now let me know down in the comment section below i love hearing from you guys all the time two thumbs up i give this season um a seven out of five stars i just like honestly today i had to try and push this off until i had the time to like review it. and i thought you know i, I could do this i can do i like pr mentally freaking preparing myself to do this video mentally had to push myself to make this video and now I can't even I, I know I know when this is done I'm gonna be really really freaking sad because all of the emotions that were really twisted and and 
that I went through yesterday is coming back up and it's coming back up with a full force because I've been telling myself like everything's cool, everything's fine, it's just a show. Yeah, sure it is. Um, but anyway, um, anything else you guys, because I can talk about the show so much. I love it so much. Let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. If you love the show, hate the show, dislike the show, like the show, um, anything to do with the show, let me know down in the comment section below and try not to do any spoilers because there's going to be a people that will, you know, not really like that. Um, anything else, recommendations, let me know in the comment section as well. I love hearing from you guys all the time. I swear, I really have to go. I feel like, I, I just feel like I'm going to just ball again. Um, anything else? Let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.